almost down. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. Eleazar one of the foremost scribes, a man of advanced age and noble appearance, was being forced to open his mouth to eat pork, but preferring a glorious death to a life of defilement, he spat out the meat and went forward of his own accord to the instrument of torture, as people ought to do who have the courage to reject the food which it is unlawful to taste even for love of life. Those in charge of that unlawful ritual meal took the man aside privately because of their long acquaintance with him and urged him to bring meat of his own providing such as he could legitimately eat and to pretend to be eating some of the meat of the sacrifice prescribed by the king. In this way, he would escape the death penalty and be treated kindly because of their old friendship with him. But Eleazar made up his mind in a noble manner, worthy of his years, the dignity of his advanced age, the marital distinction of his gray hair and of the admirable life he had lived from childhood. And so he declared that above all, he would be loyal to the holy laws given by God. He told them to send him at once to the abode of the dead, explaining, at our age, it would be unbecoming to make such a pretense. Many young people will think the 90-year-old Eleazar had gone over to an alien religion. Should I thus pretend for the sake of a brief moment of life, they would be led astray by me, but I would bring shame and dishonor on my old age. Even if, for the time being, I avoid the punishment of men, I shall never, whether alive or dead, escape the hands of the Almighty. Therefore, by manfully giving up my life now, I will prove myself worthy of my old age. I will leave to the young a noble example and how to die 
willingly and generously for the revered and holy laws. Elizar spoke thus and went immediately to the instrument of torture. Those who shortly before had been kindly disposed now became hostile toward him because what he had said seemed to them utter madness. When he was about to die under the blows, he groaned and said, The Lord in his holy knowledge knows full well that although I could have escaped death, I am not only enduring terrible pain in my body from this scourging, but also suffering it with joy in my soul because of my devotion to him. This is how he died, living in his death a model of courage and unforgettable example of virtue, not only for the young, but for the whole nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord upholds me. The Lord upholds me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries. Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. The Lord upholds me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. The Lord upholds me. When I lie down in sleep, I wake up again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the mirrors of people arrayed against me on every side. The Lord upholds me. Please stand. God loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with and your you. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly be seated. The story of Zacchaeus, more than a story of philanthropy, generosity, and charity, is really essentially a story of a spiritual journey. Kaya kung tutuusin, mas importante itong, napaka-importante nitong went on Zacchaeus because it gives us a very important lesson in 
our spiritual journey. Malamang, ang nakakamangha doon sa mga kwento ay yung, yung bang tipong binitawan niya yung, yung kanyang mga ari-arian ipamimigay niya sa mahihirap. Napakabait, ano? napakagaling. At yung kung meron man siyang nasaktan dati, eh, babayaran niya four times over. Napaka-generous, napakabait, napaka-kind. Kamangamangha yung, yung bagay na yun. Ngunit ang mas kamangha-mangha talaga kung titignan natin ay yung paglalakbay ni Zacchaeus sa kanyang spiritual na buhay. Na kung titignan natin sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito, ay nagkaroon ng tagumpay. Ang sabi nga dito sa dulo ng ating Ebanghelyo, sabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kay Zacchaeus, Today, salvation has come to this house. Salvation has come to this house. At ang sarap pakinggan. Kung tayo siguro masabihan ng ganon, Today, salvation has come to this house. Ang saya siguro ng mararamdaman natin. Alam naman natin yun, hindi ba? Na napaka-importante para sa atin ang ating kaligtasan. Lalong-lalo ng tao yung mga nananampalataya no, sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na nangako sa atin ang ating kaligtasan. Napakahalaga nun para sa atin. More than anything else, more than the material things, the material wealth that, the, that this world could offer us, what is most important for us is that salvation, that spiritual redemption that all of us hope for. Kaya nga itong kwento ni Zacchaeus, napaka-importante para sa atin. Kasi nagbibigay leksyon ito sa ating ding mga personal na paglalakbay na sa ating mga espiritual na buhay. Na sapagkat kagaya ni Zacchaeus, tayo ding lahat ay parang naglalakbay sa ating spiritual na buhay. We are on a spiritual journey. Ika nga, we are a church in pilgrim, in pilgrimage. We are a pilgrim church. Naglalakbay tayo. Naglalakbay tayo patungo sa ating kaligtasan. Ang kagandahan nito, mga kapatid, ipinapakita sa ating ibanghelyo sa araw na ito, na itong kaligtasan na inaasam-asam natin, na gusto nating makamit, na gustong maabot ng spiritual na buhay natin, is very much, is very much and readily made available to us by our Lord and our God. Kaya nga, ang kwento sa Ibanghelyo natin ngayon, narinig natin ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, pumunta sa sa Jericho. At nung nakita niya si Zacchaeus, who was considered to be a sinner, huminto ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And he called to him, Come down, Zacchaeus. I must and I am going to stay at your house today. I am going to stay with you. Napakagandang pakinggan. Para bagang sinasabi sa ating lahat sa araw na ito ng ating Panginoong Diyos, nandyan palagi para sa atin. Kahit anong estado pa ng buhay natin, kahit na nalulugmok man tayo sa ating mga pagkukulang sa Diyos, ang ating mga pagkakasala sa Diyos, eh hindi siya lumalayo sa atin. Alam niyo po, sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, Itong lugar na pinuntahan niya, yung Jericho, was considered to be a place of sin. Lahat ng korupsyon, lahat ng kriminal, lahat ng mga uri ng hindi magagandang bagay na ginagawa nandun. Pero naririnig natin sa Ibanghelyo, palagi ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo sa lugar na yun. Bakit? Eh kasi nga, palagi ang niyang offer ang kanyang kaligtasan. Palagi niyang inahanda o ready made available para sa lahat, maging sa maka, mga makasalanan, yung kanyang kaligtasan. Kaya nga, ang salita na lamang ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa dulo, no, ang sabi niya, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. Kaya napakaganda nung realidad na yun. Kaya sa ating paglalakbay, on that spiritual journey, meron tayong inaasahan Siguradong meron tayong inaasahan kasi laging ibinibigay sa atin ng ating Panginoong Diyos yung kanyang presensya sa atin. Ang ang ahamo na lang sa atin ngayon, yung ating paglalakbay. At ito yung ipinapakita ni Zacchaeus sa ating lahat na maaaring magbigay sa ating leksyon 
sa ating spiritual na buhay. Ano ba yung ipinapakita ni Zacchaeus sa kanyang paglalakbay, sa kanyang spiritual na buhay? Nung narinig ni Zacchaeus na parating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, ang unang ginawa niya no, para mapansin siya, ay eh, umakyat siya sa puno. Para bagang ginawa niya ang lahat para makita siya ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo o para maabot niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Not at some point, nagpakumbaba siya, na umakyat siya sa puno. Napaka-ironic nga, no? nagpakumbaba pero umakyat sa puno. Pero imagine niyo na lang ano, kung anong pangungutya na lang siguro yung ginawa ng mga tao sa kanya. Dahil nga hindi ganong katangkaran si Zacchaeus para makita niya ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kasi nga ang tatangkad ng mga tao para sa kanya eh. Umakyat siya sa puno para bagang inaamin niya yung kanyang pagiging mababa. Pinapakita niya sa mga tao ako ay nagpapakumbaba. At sa paglalakbay patungo sa kaligtasan mga kapatid, napaka-importante ng pagpapakumbaba. Sa harap ng Diyos, kitang-kita dapat natin yung ating, yung ating katotohanan bilang mga likha. Bilang mga likha. Alam nyo, napakalaking hamon yan sa panahon natin ngayon. Sa ating mundo na palaging madalas ipinapakita sa atin na tayong mga tao ay makapangyarihan. Tayong mga tao ay lahat kayang gawin. Yung pagpapakumbaba, ay eh parang bihira mo nang makita. Kaya nga, ano, pag tumitingin tayo sa mga balita o may ibang mga artikulo, Parang laging ganun yung naririnig natin. Ah, akong tao, kung ano yung gusto ko, dapat mangyari yan. Ah, kung ako ang tao, kung ito yung plano ko, dapat yan yung masunod. Kung ano yung hinihingi ko, dapat ibigay. Diba? In some sense, may pagka-arugante ang dating. Lalong-lalo na sa harap ng Diyos. Kaya nga, ano, pagdating sa pagdarasal, eh, hindi basta-basta na lang magdarasal tayo sa Diyos na para bagang uh, nanunumbat tayo. Kasi walang pagpapakumbaba yun. Yung ba tipong, Lord ha, ako linggo-linggo nagsisimba ha, dapat yung mga dasal ko ibigay mo sa akin, yung mga hinihingi ko ibigay mo sa akin. Lord ha, nagbigay ako ng malaking donation ha, dapat yung balik niyan triple. Parang nang, para bang nagbibilang na agad eh, no? Eh, hindi ganon. Nagpapakumbaba tayo sa harap ng Diyos. Parang si Zacchaeus. Doon lagi nagsisimula ang napakagad ng spiritual na paglalakbay patungo sa kaligtasan. Yung pagpapakumbaba. Alam nyo kasi, kapag ka nagpapakumbaba, ang laging resulta niyan eh yung pang tipong naaalala natin na kailangan natin ng tulong ng Diyos. Naaalala natin na tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. At yung mga anak, alam niyo naman po, no? dependent lagi sa mga magulang, nakadepende sa magulang, nakasandal sa magulang. Yung pinapakita sa atin na at pagdating sa relasyon natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos, tayo bilang mga anak, dapat nakadepende sa Kanya, umihingi ng tulong sa Kanya, hindi nagde-demand sa pamamagitan ng, papag- ng pagpapakumbaba. Yan yung isang leksyon na pinapakita ni Zacchaeus. Pangalawang leksyon, yung kanyang perseverance, yung kanyang persistence, doon sa gusto niyang makamit. Yung pagbabago ng buhay. Alam niyo si Zacchaeus, maraming beses na nakutsa, maraming beses na natapunan ng galit ng tao. At nakita niya yung kanyang pagkukulang. Nakita niya yung kanyang pagkakamali. Naghintay na lamang siya ng pagkakataon na maridim ang kanyang sarili. Kaya nga nung dumating ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, hindi siya nagdalawang isip, nagpakumbaba, and he stayed and persisted in that mission in achieving his goal of transformation, yung pagbabago ng buhay. Saan makikita yung, 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 yung pagbabago ng buhay doon sa point sa, sa life ni Zacchaeus? Yung kanyang pagbitaw ng kanyang mga ari-arian. Parang generosity, ano, nagbigay siya. Sabi niya, half of my my possessions I will give to the poor. Kung nakasakit man ako sa tao, babayaran ko ng makaapat na beses. Ano ibig sabihin nun para sa atin? 
Ibig sabihin nun, para bagang si Zacchaeus, ipinakita niya na binibitawan niya yung buhay niya dati. Yung buhay na, nalug, na naglugmok sa kanya sa kasalanan. Yung buhay na nagpabigat sa kanyang puso. Yung buhay na naglayo sa kanya sa ating Panginoong Diyos. At magagawa lamang yung pagbabago na yon kung merong perseverance or persistence sa misyon o sa paglalakbay patungo sa kaligtasan. Kasi kung tutusin, ang daming hamon ng paglalakbay na ito patungo sa ating kaligtasan. Ang dami. Ang daming gustong pumigil. Kaya nga si Zacchaeus, hindi ba? Nando na siya sa piling ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ano pa yung mga naririnig niya? Parang hindi pa rin tama yung ginawa niya. Parang mali pa rin siya. Ay, nako, makasalanan ka pa rin. Dapat hindi nakikisama yung ating Maestro, si Kristo sa iyo kasi makasalanan ka. Parang bakang ganun. Eh di ba minsan ganun din tayo? Kapag ka nasa point na tayo na gusto nating magbago, gusto nating ayusin ang mga buhay natin, gusto nating itama yung mga mali natin, eh pagkakataon na nawawalan ko na, hihina, na paghihinaan tayo ng loob. Kasi at some point, merong pumapasok na mga mga elemento sa paligid na pumipigil sa atin. Para bang sinasabihan tayo, shh, huwag kang maingay. Okay lang yan na namumuhay ka sa kasalanan. Natural talaga yon, Kasi ang kasalanan, meron siyang parang self-defense na ginagawa. Eh. Gusto niyang manatili sa atin. So, ayan ang tanong, gusto din ba nating manatili yung ganong klaseng buhay? Siguro naman hindi ano. O kung ayaw natin, parang si Zacchaeus, binitawan niya yung kanyang mga ari-arian. Ibig sabihin, tumalikod siya sa kanyang dating buhay and he persisted and persevered in following the way and the life of Christ. Sa paglalakbay natin, ganun din dapat. Lalong-lalo na pag nakatanggap tayo ng mga biyaya sa, na, na galing sa ating Panginoon. Si Zacchaeus nakita niya malaking biyaya na binisita siya ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Kaya nagbago ng buhay. Tayo alam ko, sa araw-araw ng buhay natin, binibigyan tayo ng biyaya. Kailangan lamang nating tingnan yon, Kasi minsan madalas, ang binibilang natin yung wala sa atin. Pero yung merong biyaya na binibigay, dapat tingnan natin yung mga yon. Araw-araw meron tayo niyan. Sigurado ako, na ngayon sa mga biyayang yaon, dapat hindi natin sayangin yan sa pamamagitan ng din ng pagkakaroon ng pagbabago ng buhay. Kasi yun ang pinakamalaking pasasalamat na pwede nating magpagita sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Halimbawa, kung tayo nagdarasal dito ngayon para maging matagumpay ang ating business, ang ganda, no? Binigayaan tayo na maging tagumpay, matagumpay ang ating business. Yumaman tayo. Pero naging mas madamot naman tayo. Maganda ba yung pangyayari na yun? Hindi siguro, no? Pinagaling tayo sa ating mga sakit. Ano mang klaseng mga sakit na yan, nagdasal tayo sa ating mahal na ina. Pero naging sakit sa puso naman tayo ng mga tao sa paligid natin. Para bang at some point sinasabi nila, sana namatay ka na lang. Maganda ba mo nangyari yun? Hindi siguro, no? Kaya every biyaya na ibinibigay sa atin, suklian natin ng pagbabago ng buhay. Ito yung spiritual journey na ipinakita sa atin ni Zacchaeus. Nawa tayo din. Gayahin natin yung paglalakbay ni Zacchaeus. At nawa, sa buhay natin, eh, may sabihan din tayo ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Today, salvation has come to this house. Tanong, has salvation really come to ourselves? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. In meeting between our Lord and Zacchaeus, we see that true mercy is the most profound source of justice. We pray as sinners, on behalf of sinners, but let our prayer express confident trust in the divine mercy. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who run business and industry may be generous and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be prepared to welcome the Lord whenever He comes into our lives and allow Him to make His his home in us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in their trials and suffering the redeeming cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be rewarded with everlasting happiness in the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. God our Father, fill our hearts with your love. Give us your saving help when we fall. And keep us always in your care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Socrates our Bishop Fidelis his assistant Bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary the mother of God with blessed Joseph her spouse with the blessed Apostles with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your Apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
kindly own the credible stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the, the owner, owner of, of everything, who possesses, who possesses everyone. everyone. I believe, I believe in, in the God, God of mercies, who has chosen, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother, and Mother Church. Church. In spite, in spite of, of who I am and what, and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows, he knows I will still commit. commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all of my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow. For tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant love. Much is as of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po yung magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nag-iisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made, who made heaven, heaven and earth. earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah.